right. No. Well, you see? <laughs> one, of us, one of us is paying attention. All right. Sorry. We had some technical situations going on here. Let me get this right on my face. I feel like I'm I'm getting the third degree. I should have water dripping on my on my forehead. Um, we're trying to find a way to do this because in Facebook and their infinite wisdom and the things they do to change, uh, Facebook won't find the camera on the laptop, which is kind of okay because the camera on the laptop sucks. And uh, the camera on the phone is obviously a whole bunch better. A whole bunch better. And uh, in any case, a whole bunch better. English, a whole bunch better. Uh, <laughs> It's English. Whole bunch, like a bunch of bananas, a whole bunch better. So we're, we're, we're going to use it for now. And then I'm going to have to later on pull down the video and send it to, send it to YouTube and do a lot more work than I wanted to do. Obviously, a lot of sorts. We're late and everything's off and it just throws me off. I, I don't do well with being off. And I thrive on chaos. I don't. <laughs> I think it's, I, I hate it. I think it's what it, it's what proves really uh, how well one focuses uh, or the, the ability to focus um, in stressful situations. So it's okay. It's okay. You need to have one of those in your marriage that can handle it. But there are times that I can. But this morning is not one of them. I'm a little tired. Did a lot of cooking yesterday. And I gotta go to work in thirty minutes. Oh, okay. So we should get so <laughs> so, so we should get started. Uh, let's let's do one of your things and just do off the cuff. Does it? Oh, I can do that because we have something prepared. What we were going to do was uh, twenty-one questions to test how well you really know your partner. But since we're running a little late... Well, we weren't going to get through 21 today no. either. We weren't going to get through five. No. <laughs> because we are disciples of Pastor John. We weren't going to get through five. Yeah, yeah our, pastor, <laughs> our pastor has points. And, and, and I'm sure that Pastor John... Now, now when you see this, because someone's going to tell him, we love you dearly. We do. <laughs> but, and he has notes. And he does all the work all week long. And then he starts on the introduction. And the introductions are great, and it's a good thing. And we do that. <laughs> because we, we get to the introductions, and, and they're awesome. But point nine, point ten, nine and ten, pfft, never seen it. <laughs> never seen it. I'm hoping to see it in a book. I hope to see it at some point when he writes his book. Yes. Because uh, he does an awesome job, and he keeps you you involved. And you you're, it's interesting. It's just that... We go. We we never get through the points. We never get through the points. I don't. I don't. I remember one in, one one time in ten years where we got got through all the points that he <laughs> that he prepared. And it's always good to prepare more than you actually do. Actually, I mean, you actually get through. Mm -hmm. um, so some. So that was going to be how we're going to do it. Um, this morning, just like always, you have to um, when you are in a uh, a relationship, a marriage. Um, the adjustments that you have to make are really, really important. And how, and I, I think earlier on in the relationship, you get to see how well people, your spouse or your, or your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, are, are good with adjustments. Like, like this morning, um, somebody, like Debbie said, somebody's, got, somebody's got to be, be good. I has to be good with. This is okay. We got this. I got it. It's okay. Me. Sometimes. Well, so, yeah. It depends on it, what it, it is. It switches. It depends on that. You're exactly right. It depends, depends on, what, on it what we're doing and where, you know, how. It, this is not my element. So he is more calm in his element. The the technical and all that stuff like that. Sitting and talking, I'm I'm your girl. Not, but Not that this isn't frustrating. <laughs> not that when things don't go right, it isn't frustrating. But the idea of just because it's frustrating doesn't mean that it throws me off. And, 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 and at given, a given time, I can focus on the task and obviously, here we are, getting it done. Now, I have to, there's a bunch more things I have to do on the back end now, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so, I, I don't mind. 
Uh, but I think that that's important to find that out early. And because it isn't, and it, it's sort of finding the place for both of you in the relationship where, you, where you're going to fit together. What is your place in the relationship? Know that place, and unless you're needed to switch out of it, stay there and get good at it. And get good at it, so that when you're need, when when your spouse can has to call upon you for a certain thing, and he knows that you're good at it, or she knows that you're good at it, you got to be prepared. So, in in a relationship, don't don't. Try to take over something that you're not equipped in doing. And sometimes I tend to do that. I got in the way this morning. I kept saying, well, where's this and what's that and blah, blah, blah. When I should have just shut up, Debbie. And, the only reason <laughs> and let him do it. And the only reason she did is because on, on a normal basis, I'm really, I'm, I'm so good at it that it's already done. Mm -hmm. And because I was waiting, we're going to do something different to record. And I'm looking at us on Facebook and it's already nicer. Than it was last week when we were, we were in that cave. In the dark. Yeah. Um, because, and, and it's basically because of, the, because of the quality of the camera on the phone. We got to work on the center thing. Because I'm like over here. Then sit up straight. There I you go. I'm sitting up there straight. There you go. See how much well, how much well, if you, when you sit up straight, it's good for your spine. It's good for your lungs. It's good for everything. So I'm going to slouch now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, the idea is that that because I normally have all this set up, but we but we're but I was changing it, and I didn't get a chance to practice it last night, so it was going to be a little chaotic. Cause I went to bed. No, there you go. There you go. <laughs> After making, if you saw my video, I made all those meals, so I was tired, and I was going to go lay down. And that was fun. And that oh. and and that's why we're running late because I slept a little over. Because when I woke up, it was like eight forty. I'm like, ah, oh, we gotta do this. So. Yeah, and 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 that's one of the things that I think that uh, after after a while in in a relationship or or, or a marriage, you should you should be able to do. You should be able to make those adjustments on the fly. Uh, because what you found out over over a course of years is that it's not going to be perfect. Things aren't going to. Because if you think that is, is how life is going to be, you're going to be horrifically disappointed and frustrated like all the time. Uh, because it doesn't just it doesn't work out. That and way. I think that's why some marriages fail, because at that point when the person when you get all ner you get all upset. If both of you are in the chaos mode, then it it, it tends to make you want to think, well, this is not working. I, I want out of this. I want. I want to be comfortable. I want to feel, feel like you know, confident in what we're doing, and I don't feel that way. So some. So sometimes somebody. Somebody's got to be good. And good in the chaos because I, folks, there's going to be chaos, and if you have children, there's going to be chaos. <laughs> that adds to another aspect of the chaos. It's already chaos with just the two of you. And then when you add two or three kids. Chaos. Chaos. Pure chaos. And people tend to want to bring kids into a marriage thinking that's going to bring them closer. That's going to settle things down. And it's going to make you feel better about your marriage and all. Kids don't don't make No. Kids kids make things um, a lot more chaotic and, 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 and add more moving parts. And if you can't have, if you can't handle the two moving parts you already have, you start throwing in four or five other moving parts of human beings that now you are responsible for. That makes things a lot more difficult. It makes so, it even more stressful. So you have to be good in the chaos, and I think that that's one of the things that, that no one ever really talks about because everybody, I think, all the marriage counselors and all those people are all about organizing things and keeping things just so. And I think that that's. <laughs> That may indeed be detrimental because that's not telling because it doesn't tell the it whole doesn't tell the truth doesn't tell the whole truth doesn't tell, it, it doesn't say, no one's no one's teaching anybody how to be good when it's nutty <laughs> how are you going to be okay when it's nutty because it's going to be nutty sometimes not all the time I don't think I don't think anybody can survive on thirty one years of pure nuttiness but. It's going to be nutty sometimes, and how do you get through and by those times? 
how you handle it. And I think that that's something that somebody ought to, somebody ought to talk about. So someone should write a book. <laughs> how to get through how, the nutty times. How to get through the nutty times. Because there are going to be, I mean, there's, there are people who are, and it isn't just relationships, I mean, individuals have crazy times in their lives where things are, mm -hmm. things are happening that they never expected, and, they, and when that happens, it, everything seems to be going at light speed. Everything's just going really, really fast. And they don't know what to do. They get all freaked out. And I think that people who are successful, not only are they good in those times, they understand them. And they understand that they're not long-term. This too shall pass. Exactly. It's, it's, it's funny when I'm like when I'm preparing kids to do like recitals or go to or go to solo ensemble contest. I say, you know, the best part about this, what? It's going to start yes. and it's going to end. <laughs> it's a finite set of time. This is not going to go on forever like some weird Twilight Zone episode. <laughs> it, it, it's not. You're gonna, you, you're gonna, the, and when you start. There's going to be some time that's going to go on, and then it's going to end. A Groundhog Day, that movie. Where you wake up, and you do it, and you have to do it again. Over and over. <laughs> and over. And over. No. And over. And, and over. No it's, not, no, it's not like that. So, And on the other end of it, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. So, you know, and this may, and, and, and this morning, this may apply to somebody. Who you, you may be in a portion of your relationship now where it just seems crazy and nutty. Um, but no that you're going to be able to, to, to survive make it. Through. it. You, you, you will make it You'll through. survive it. You will. You will. You just have to recognize, first of all, you have to recognize that it's happening. And then you have to recognize, second, that it's not going to last forever. And the third thing is that you're going to be okay. And the good thing about it, if you're in, when you're in a relationship and your partner is with you through those times and stuff, you have someone to look forward to being with you after it's over mm -hmm. and you can talk about it and you can you can praise each other you did really good during that time you did this and blah 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 and 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 it's it's good but if you decide to divorce that person during that time then you're going to be at the end of it alone well, also well and then you and then you, and, so you, you and then at that point you sort of define yourself by a situation that you really didn't have any control over, and so now you use that to define yourself. And um, and we were we were on the way to church yesterday, and I, and, and, he, and he said it before. We're listening to, to, to Joel Osteen. Um, the, the idea is not to define yourself by a moment in time, or or a particular or what's happening to or you. a particular situation that happened to you, uh, whether whether it was your fault or not. Um, that that's not who you are. And don't define yourself by that. And we do that not only for ourselves, we do that for our spouses too. So they do something and now they're defined by that. They, they, they become that person. They become that that kind of partner when they really weren't. It was just a thing that happened and it was chaotic and it was crazy. It was nutty. Um, but you have to, and I think that the, the real important part about all this is that you have we have to learn to sometimes move on from what happened mm -hmm. because it just happened. Stop talking about it. You know, easier for dudes. <laughs> don't continue to bring it up. Stop. And that's up. something that's very hard if you, for women to. If do. you want it to end, you have to stop talking about it. Stop. After what Barney did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Another Flintstone reference, and if you haven't seen that episode of Flintstones. It's hysterical, by the way. Um, I don't know. Fred and Barney had some beef, and um, and, and Betty and Wilma, and Betty and Wilma made the it. made the ultimate mistake. They got involved in Freddie and Fred and Barney's beef, um, and they were over it. And they were, and they were over guys it. Guys get over it. They do it. They get over it, and the next day they best buds. But women, and 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 that was sort of a cartoon, but a very very salient. A uh, picture of how how dudes work and how women work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Barney and Fred had a beef, and then it was over it. And then they heard Bar they heard Wilma and Betty arguing about it, and they were like, "What? Are they, what? <laughs> they were over it. <laughs> they had done their beef. They had done whatever, and then um, it was over." Especially after what Barney did. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop. 
And I know Wilma was just trying to defend her man. I get it. Mm -hmm. uh, she was just trying to defend Fred, the indefensible Fred. But the idea is that, that if you want something to stop, if you really want it to stop, then you have to stop bringing it up. It's like getting a, it's like getting a, 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 a wound. And, and you keep ripping it. And the scab down. forms, and it's healing, and you're like, nope. Ah, there you go. Now it's bleeding again. And, and, and this is how people behave. Here's how people behave in a lot of things. And the idea is that we have to stop. Hey, Candy. We have to stop behaving like that. At some point, you have to let it in. Mm -hmm. It runs its course. Get over it. And then just move, and, and just move on. You know? And just move on. And sometimes you'll get, sometimes you'll get the, maybe you'll get the apology that we were looking for. And I, you know what I, uh, sometimes you and do. sometimes you want, and, 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 and the idea is that I don't even know if most people understand what apologies mean anyway. So not only don't they know how to make them, they don't know how to receive them. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to accept someone's apology. If they, if they say. Cause sometimes you think that that ain't enough. <laughs> it ain't enough. What do you want me to do? You want me to cut, you open a vein? What do you want? Want me to run out in front of a car? But I understand. Sometimes you think, I don't. It's not enough. The apology is not enough. But you have to get over it eventually, all right? Because once they apologize, they actually have released it and and gone on. And you may be like, well, that wasn't enough. And it's still in there, and it's still acting, and you bringing it up and bringing it up, and that person has been over. Well, and, and the thing is, if if all if all at this point you can offer is an apology, if that's all you got, and you offer a, a a true apology, and which means that you are sorrowful for your actions and you and you vow not to do it again, and so it's really in an apology. That's what an apology is. Mm -hmm. So if that's all you if if that's all you can do, because you can't make the the situation that happened, you can't change. If you it can't make it, if you can't make it different. Like, let's say you decided to paint the house, and you decided to paint the house black, because it seemed like a really good idea. And the wife gets home, and she goes, what the hell did you do? I painted the house for you, honey. And then, and she just walks in the house and slams the door, and you're like, are you mad? <laughs> well, yeah, she's mad. So you go in, and you apologize for painting the house black, or not, not getting her opinion for painting the house. And then, but you can still go out and paint another color. That's different, because now you can fix it. But sometimes things get said, you know what, attitudes get shown that all you can do is apologize for the things that get said and the attitudes that get shown, and you can't change it because it already happened. Mm -hmm. You can't rewind and redo it. Let's start again. You can't. Redo. Undo. You can't undo. You can't get the little, little, little arrow that goes left on your computer to undo the thing that you did. You can't do that. Um, so all you can do is be sorrowful for what you did and vow not to do it again. And then not do it again. I think that's all you can really do. And if that's all you can really do, that's the apology that people either... You have to take it. You have to accept it or... Move on. Or move on. Something, ha something has to give because if not, you will be stuck in that place foil. And I think that's where separation and divorce comes in because the person, they can't get over it. And, and and that's how you have friendships that I mean yeah. not friendships that end because people just can't get by it. Mm -hmm. they, I, I can't forget what you did. They I, feel, I can't. They feel so wronged that they can't get by it. It happened, um, and then sort of giving the people giving people the the latitude to say that everybody first of all is going through something and everybody's developing, everybody's changing, everybody's mm -hmm. hopefully getting better. So that so so that so. 20 years, uh, 20 years ago, that person who wronged you is not the same person now. Mm -hmm. They're not the same person. And probably they, they're not the same person they were five years, I mean, five years later or five months later sometimes or five days later. Mm -hmm. But if you decide that you are not going to consider, even consider moving on, that what you're trying to do is you're trying to hold them. You, you got like a like a little push pin, and you've held yourself and them in that place in time, and you're not moving. And that's not good for your development. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. it's not good for your relationship. If something happens in year, you know what, in, in, in six months in, in, in your marriage, and you put that push pin in that six months, you ain't never going to get to 31 years. You're just not going to. Because you've decided not you that you're not going to. You've made that decision. Nope. Our marriage stopped right here at six months. Mm. You put that push if you that okay push pin that, in there. If you're okay with that. Mm. But I don't think both people are gonna be okay with that. Somebody's gonna move on and someone's gonna say, you know what, I can't I can't you know what, I don't know what else to do, but I can't stay there at, at that six month period. Mm -hmm. And that's when people go, Well, if you're not going to move on, I'm going to. And that's when you, like you said, that's when you get divorced and you get separation and, and, and all those things. And you lose something because you decided, because you, you made a conscious choice not to move on. Most of this, folks, I'm telling you, most of this, folks, in any sort of long-term relationship, not just marriage, but any sort of long-term term friendships is sort of getting through those, those, those times where the friends or the spouses sort of rub you the wrong way because I guarantee if, if they're rubbing you the wrong way you've done the same too yes no yes I'm perfect <laughs> yeah like I said <laughs> I'm perfect <laughs> you know and um, you've done the same thing too and you've grown and you're better and you and you gave yourself to grow together and you've given yourself an opportunity to grow and be better and I think that it's important for that some you they, they that. give your partner also that time to grow and be better too. Uh, and with that, you can't push that pin in the in, in, in that that push pin in the relationship and stop time and not give people a chance to okay. get better. I'm loving this, but I gotta go. Yeah, I know, I know. And I get I get all sorts of notices. I I I ask a question on that teacher group. Like, <laughs> I want to teach a Facebook group. I'm, just causing all sorts of havoc. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Anyway, um, well, thanks for thanks for popping in. We appreciate it uh, for everyone who showed we up. We will be more prepared next week. Which means I will be more prepared next week, and we're going to learn how to do Facebook Live on your phone. Yes. In landscape. I think I know why, but I just didn't. I just didn't have time. Anyway. Okay. Till we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness' sake. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry for, for our lateness. Please forgive my tardiness. I'll get a note from I'll get a note from the dean. That was stupid too. I never I never I never kind of tardy. Just come in and sit down and be quiet. <laughs> I don't care when you get here. Anyway, we'll see you. We'll we'll see you same same bad time, same bad channel next week. Peace. Love you. Peace.